Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing. Welcome to another Hetty vacuum. I've already unboxed Hetty and demonstrated her on my channel, but that was the Hetty that came possibly one or two models before this particular one. This is the latest version at the time of making the video. The model is HET200, obviously made by Pneumatic in the United Kingdom. And, uh, well, that's all I have to say. Let's get it open. It's been in the box for quite some time. I've had this for months, actually, to be honest. And I thought, because recently, recently at the time of making this video, I unboxed the new Hetty Compact, and I want to make a demonstration of the differences between the full-size Hetty and the compact one. So I needed to get out, obviously, my full-sized Hetty. So, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm wondering, because this was brought from Argos, now the first Hetty I unboxed on my channel had an extra surprise, it had a stair cleaning hose with it. Now I believe that was exclusive to Argos stores, so it'll be interesting to see whether they still provide a stair cleaning hose with this model. I'm not sure yet, I can't see it. Here's the instruction book. This also covers Henry, of course. Henry is HVR 212 and Hetty is HET 212. So it's a pretty familiar instruction, mainly pictures. And unlike the compact Hetty, this full size Hetty does have a two speed motor. It's a 620 watt motor on full power. Okay, so here we go. Again, the small cleaning toolkit. You get a standard with Henry and Hetty. The adapter, so you can attach the small tools directly to the end of the hose. Crevice nozzle, a dusting brush, and a furniture nozzle with a slide-on brush attachment. Right, <laughs> I haven't got my scissors to hand, but uh, this is the newer nozzle. Now again, this is slightly different and I'll be comparing this actually. I didn't notice at the time, this nozzle is different to the one supplied with the compact Hetty. But you can check out my comparison video, I've made the comparison video between this Hetty. Obviously, I haven't made it yet, but I will be and you'll see that before you see this unboxing. So I'll be showing you all this in more detail in the comparison video. There will be a link to that in this video. So far, it doesn't look like there is an extra hose with this anymore, which is a shame. I sold the previous Hetty. I now wish I'd kept it. I'm sure I can get the extension hose, which does make it a little bit more versatile for stair cleaning. Although this is a nice long hose you get supplied, I think it's 2.4 meters. So it is a very generous length of hose. It's still not generous enough to reach up a standard flight of stairs. So it's the later style hose that's tapered so it's thicker at the cleaner end than it is at the handle end. And of course it swivels at both ends so it shouldn't get all caught up. One two extension ones and of course you've got the curved handle this has got the old style of suction release my Hetty Compact and my James had this a newer style this has still got the older style suction so obviously just works by introducing air into the pipe to reduce the suction so it's open for minimum but for maximum we close it off and as you can see it's closed off now so that's that no what a shame that is a shame there is no no extension hose so that's a pity 
right, three spare dust bags. That seems to be pretty standard nowadays with the domestic pneumatics. You normally get three spare bags and one fitted into the cleaner. And here's Hetty herself. Now I'm, now I'm seeing it. I only unboxed the compact Hetty yesterday at the time of making this video. And I couldn't see much of a difference, but I think this Hetty is considerably larger. But of course, if you watch my comparison video, you will see the differences. Apart from the size, there are a few other differences between the Hetties. Yes, it does seem considerably larger, actually. Here is the energy label. And there is a difference in the energy labels. Again, I'll be comparing that in my comparison video. But this does get a C rating for carpet cleaning performance. I think the compact Hetty gets a D for some reason. But this Hetty is an A for energy use because it's only got a 620 watt motor. Gets a C for dust emissions, a C for carpet, a C for hard floors, and it's 72 decibels, which I believe is the same as the compact Hetty. And you've got the other side of the label. High flow range, low energy system. HVR slash HET, Pneumatic International. Let's just take that tag off and then I'll show you Hetty in a bit more detail. And I think I can date this to June. I'm not sure because I think The label on the machine gives me the date and it starts with 1606. I think 16 is the year and 06 is the month. So this was manufactured in June. Okay, let's take the uh, protector off the plug and wind her up. Right, and this is la this is heavier. It's got eight kilograms written on it, and Compact Hetty has seven point five, I believe, kilograms. There are a few other things different. Anyway, let's take a look at the full-sized Hetty. So at the back of Hetty, we've got the parking bracket that holds the main carpet and floor nozzle, and of course we've got a two-speed motor in this particular one, low and high. And the red switch, of course, is your on-off button. And the little grill at the back here is where the exhaust air vents out of Hetty. And you've also got one little clip on the side so you can put your most frequently used small tool. It can be clipped to that, whether you use the dusting brush, the crevice tool, or the all-purpose nozzle, whichever one you use most, you can clip onto Henry's body there, so it's always to hand. Let's have a look at the label situated underneath the folding handle. So here we are, it's 220, 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 620 watts IEC, pneumatic, International Limited, Shard, England, HET 212 ARG, eight kilograms, double insulated, and there's a sign saying, don't put it in the bin. So there's the serial, 16061848. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think 1606 means it's from June um, this year, 2016, June. I think I probably bought it about June, something like that anyway. I've had it a few weeks anyway, or a couple of months. Um, so there we go. So here she is, Hetty, the vacuum cleaner by Pneumatic. The only difference between Hetty and Henry, apart from the colour, of course Henry is red, although you can get Henry in other colours as well. So of course Henry is red, says Henry here instead of Hetty, and the face is more or less the same, but because Hetty's a little girl vacuum cleaner, she has some lovely long eyelashes, which of course Henry doesn't have. But if you're a maverick and you own Henry and Hetty, there's nothing to stop you taking off Hetty's face and popping it on Henry. If you want Henry to have some lovely long eyelashes, you can do that if you so wish.
Underneath Hetty, we've got two wheels at the front. Nice smooth running, quality wheels, and two larger wheels at the back. And pretty robust, pretty well made these vacuum cleaners are because of course Pneumatic is basically a commercial cleaning company. They produce a lot of different machines for use in commercial environments. And when used in commercial environments, vacuum cleaners take a lot of punishment, far more than they do in a domestic environment. So they are tough and built to last. Around Hetty's hat or motor unit, you've got a rubbery furniture guard that helps prevent the cleaner from being knocked, also prevents your furniture from being damaged if you bump it into your furniture. 10 meter cable on board with Pneumatic's manual rewind system at the top. So obviously you pull the cord out, use the machine, and then you just wind it up when you've finished cleaning. I'll pull the cord out now because we're going to turn Hetty on. As I say, if you want to see a full demo of Hetty, I've done a previous demo of the earlier version. I will be doing an updated demo using this particular Hetty as well. To access the bag and the filter, we've got two clips either side, so we just pull them out and we can take the motor unit off. And here it is. And I believe it is a lamb motor as well. I've been told pneumatics have used lamb motors for a while. I've never seen writing before. I've never noticed any writing on the motors. Yes, it does say lamb electric on this one. So that's the motor tucked underneath there. And then here's the bucket. You've got the standard filter. Now you can buy a Henry Micro that has a higher grade filter so it should give a better result for dust emissions. I would have thought the Henry Micro, I haven't checked, but um, it should do a little bit better than the standard filter. Also on the Harry, Harry the Hound cleaner, which I've also done a, done a demonstration of, that has a charcoal layer as well, so it's supposed to prevent odours. Um, entering your room, which you do tend to get if you're picking up after dogs and cats. Here's the fitted bag, pretty standard. NVM1CH, really don't know how. There's some little hairs on that bag. <laughs> Can't see how it's got any hairs on it. I'll just take it out of the box. So, these bags are fantastic, a great improvement on the old paper bags that went before. My advice as well, if you've got a pneumatic cleaner, buy the original bags, they don't cost very much at all. In fact, I've seen some imitation bags costing more money than the genuine article. And you can still buy imitation bags made of paper, but trust me, for a couple more pounds, it's worth getting the genuine bags. They are big, they'll last you a long time, they hold a lot of dirt and it's very unlikely that these bags will ever explode or split if you get them too full, which has often been the case with paper bags. So here's the bucket, that's the tube you push the bag onto. There is a little date wheel. Um, mm, well it's saying that this particular, I'm assuming, it's got a big 14 in the middle and the arrow's pointing between the 12 and the 1. So it's either been made in January 2014, possibly, or December 2014. Probably December, but that's just this particular part. It doesn't mean the whole, man the whole machine was manufactured back then. It just happens to be this bucket. I can imagine at the factory they'll have loads and loads of these buckets on the production line, all the different colours. So there we go, let's pop the bag back. So that's basically all I can show you. There's nothing really new to see regarding this. Not a great difference. 
between this and the Heti I unboxed previously. But Henry was getting a bit lonely, you see, and he wanted a girlfriend. So I thought, well, I better get a Heti. So there we go. Let's uh, plug her in, see how she sounds. Oh dear, is she lined up? It's hard to tell. That is one thing with the Heti Compact, you can't put the top on the wrong way round and you can't have it at a jaunty angle. It's got a shaped part of the back on the compact version and you can only put it on one way. So the days of having your Heti skewiff are long gone with the compact version. So I never know where to put it. I think there, there looks fine. Okay, let's plug her in, check she works and uh, at some point Heti will get a new demonstration. Okay, I'm just going to quickly switch Hetty on, starting on low power and then on high power. Whichever setting you go for with a Hetty or a Henry, they are nice and quiet. So starting off on low. The suction is very good, even on low power, but for a machine of only 620 watts, it does a good job of converting the electrical power into suction power. I've got some vacuums over 700 watts that have got less power than this Heti. I've got some probably about 1200 watts that have less power. So pneumatics certainly have done a good job in taking a low wattage motor and maximizing the performance. Whether or not, at the time of making this video, of course, the UK are now currently working to remove themselves from the EU, and it was the EU that made us have vacuum cleaners of a reduced wattage. Now, in 2017, that highest wattage we're allowed was anyway going to be 900 watts. It certainly will be in the EU, but whether or not we still get these 900 watts, we still might be in the EU in 2017 because it's going to take a couple of years apparently for us to be removed from the EU. But anyway, this, even so, this wouldn't be affected because it's still well under 900 watts. So pneumatic, I think they anticipated the lower wattage coming into force and they made their machines to comply with that before they had to. So you know thumbs up to Pneumatic, they haven't changed much but um, obviously they're very popular, one of the most popular bagged vacuum cleaners certainly in the UK, Henry and Hetty. It's one of the best sellers on Amazon anyway. One thing I'll show you before I go, well two things but this is one thing, normally you can't buy a pink turbo brush that matches Hetty. If you search eBay, you might find one. This is where I got this one. Now, there is a company called Bright House in the UK, which uh, sell things on easy payment terms to people that might not be able to get credit elsewhere. But unfortunately, they do charge a lot for that privilege. So to buy a Hetty Extra, it costs, uh, it costs, I think, it works out over £300 when everything's being paid with the interest and everything. So not very good value. But there is someone on eBay selling these off separately, either brand new or partly used. So if you want to get the turbo brush that matches Hetty and the Hetty Pink, I would check out eBay. Otherwise, you can get it, of course, in standard Henry Red and you can get it in black as well. And black would have been the option I would have gone for had I not been able to get the pink one. So I'll be testing the um, Aero Brush with Hetty to see how much better it is at picking up than the standard nozzle. It'll certainly do better on pet hair, I think, than the standard one. But the standard one's pretty good on general dirt, but on pet hair, this one, because it has the revolving brush, I think will do a bit of a better job. Okay, one last thing before I go, and if you haven't seen my comparison video, now this is the first time I'm doing this. I've just got my little compact Hetty. It was downstairs. Let's just pop them next to each other. Oops, 
Oh, sorry about that, Etty. Right. You've only just met and you're already fighting. Well, yes. There's not a huge, huge difference, but there certainly is a difference, isn't there? This is the new compact Hetty, and I think this is the one I prefer to use personally to the big Hetty. Now I've got the compact one, it seems a lot easier to handle. It still has the same power, still takes all the same tools. I'll still be able to use the aero brush with the compact Hetty as well, but there are a few other differences. Obviously the bin is different. Anyway, you can see all the full differences that I'll be showing you. There's not much in it, is there? That's, that's the compact Hetty filter, that's standard Hetty filter. They're not hugely different when you look at them like this. I would have liked to have seen, personally, Compact Hetty to have been a little bit, even a little bit smaller than this one. But anyway, it's nice to have a different sized Hetty. And there will be a different uh, a Compact Henry as well available. By the time of um, you seeing this video, the Compact Henry should be available to buy. So there we go, that's the Hetty. That's the HET 160 and this one is of course the HET 200. Stay tuned for more pneumatic videos. At some point I do hope to get another George. I might get a James as well. I'm also looking at a Bertie and um, if I haven't done so already I'm hoping to do a demonstration of my Jack as well. So plenty more coming up for you pneumatic fans. I've got uh, quite a lot now. I've got uh, almost a full set. Ah, I might even get an Edward. But also there's a, a Henry, a larger Henry coming out too, a Henry Professional, which is already out in one form or another, but it actually says pneumatic on it here. But they're bringing out a Henry, a bigger Henry. So there will be three sizes of Henry. There'll be the compact Henry, the standard Henry, and a bigger Henry. So hopefully I will get a larger Henry as well. And of course, when the compact Henry comes out, I want to get the compact one as well. So there we go, compact Hetty, meet standard Hetty. So for me and standard Hetty, it's goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments section below. Please thumb up. And of course, please check out my back catalogue. Loads and loads of pneumatic videos, plus hundreds and hundreds of other videos on various other vacuum cleaners. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.